Hello, welcome to Out My Money. I am Denise, and if you are hearing me loud and clear today, it's because I got new mics. I'm gonna show to everybody, even though nobody can see. And who is coming on now? Hi, hi, Glass. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> nice to be in a new place. So excited. Yeah, we are in our new house now. So excited. So exciting. Oh, new house got strange noise. Wow, my face so big. There we go. <laughs> now you know how I feel when I first start all by myself, when my face feels the entire screen. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. Yes. We are in our new home. Yes, <laughs> yes we are. Excited. So cool. Congratulations to us. Yeah. Okay. And I'm very <laughs> stressed, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> Yeah, we need yeah, to we need to that. warm we need to warm the place up a little bit. Yeah. So we roll the online inside, is it? We roll the pineapple. Since we, <laughs> when people move from oh, yeah, the we the, forgot the we forgot like, the pineapple. Oh, no, we <laughs> we forgot the like, pineapple. Knowing Douglas, you'll want to do like a video of the pineapple rolling into the screen. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me find let me find let me find the pineapple. Then the words will appear hot. No, Douglas, it's over. Yes, Denise. Yeah, it's over anyway. You can, you can over. play some time, whatever it is. Sorry, something wrong. Uh, oh, no, but we are anyway. Uh, so, anyway, welcome to Ouch My Money um, in our new place, which is YouTube. I'm trying to do like ASMR. I'm <laughs> so excited to your new mic. So, anyway, yes, we have moved to YouTube instead of the. Facebook, um, because YouTube is where the hip people are, and even though we not uh, physically yeah, Facebook, hip, but Facebook, we want to be Facebook, hip also. Facebook is for old people. Yeah, like my mother, she uses Facebook very often. <laughs> <laughs> so why why did we shift here? Our big move. Why yeah. Uh? Why are uh, why are uh, wow the words are like big huge humongous? So actually, yeah, I've realized that the more words I type, the smaller the font. The smaller will because be. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's how it works. Okay, okay. So now But this well the the move is big, so the big move works. Works, right. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, why the big move? Who is gonna take it away? Why uh? Well, we've been on you. We've been on Facebook for the last year or so. Plus, right? Yeah. Mm. So, and I think in increasingly, wow, well, very long story. Short, short version or long version? <laughs> of course, it's a summarized version, now, please. But so that's why viewers, if let's say you have joined us in our new home, uh, I was going to say TikTok. I mean, our new home, YouTube, <laughs> and you want to know the long story, please drop in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll just give you the uh, abbreviated version right now. Okay, long story short. Go, Douglas. Long story short. Okay, here's where the young people are, and and <laughs> so that's a that's a that's a that's the shortest long story I've ever told. Okay, here's where the yes, young people true. are, and and I think I think moving forward, so the so in one one of the episodes that we had previously, we talked about um I think we talked about the next fifty years. Okay, I talked about the next fifty years for me anyway because, um. If you are around my age today, um, then it is for people around my age, it is possible that we are going to see our 90th or even our 100th birthday, which means that, and I'm 50, which means that I've got another 50 years to go. And then the question was, what's going to happen in the next 50 years? And if we look at what's happening in the world today, in the environment today, um, with with or without COVID, um, technology is, is, is taking over a lot of the things that's happening. And the way we do things um, is going to drastically change 
at a far at a faster rate than we've ever experienced before. And being at 50, um, with another 50 years to go, if I have another 50 years to go, then I cannot depend on what has happened or my experience for the last 50 years. And, and really, I feel that the future is really at this point created by a lot of the younger people who are the Gen Zs, okay, the Gen Y2s and the Gen Zs. Okay, and, and there's a lot to learn from them. And Facebook really is for older people. So if I want to move away from older people, <laughs> so here, so YouTube, here we come. <laughs> YouTube, here we are. Here we are. Yes, we have, uh, oh, we have a huge supporter. He gave us three pineapples. But, and because, <laughs> and, okay, this is a bit funny. This is nothing to do with whatever serious thing that Douglas is saying because I'm the wife, right? I'm going to say, how come only three? With four people, you must give us four five people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a typical so we, one. So we need one, so one, we need right one more. Cannot, but four but four is four is not a good number. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, four four right. <laughs> Give us a oh, it's, it's, it's all the women that is coming in and say, oh, we need eight. And like, oh no, eight is not enough. 88. 888. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yes that's why we are on youtube with all the young people because we believe that uh we not that not that the young people need to learn from us but rather we need to learn from the young people <laughs> the remaining part just came on yes, I know. yes of course of course he's very precise that way he's as precise as i am not precise this is my husband everybody yeah <laughs> okay you can okay, yes go on this Oh, yeah. So, so rather than, uh, so like what Douglas was saying, rather than um, us sharing what we know, we're also here to learn new things because we don't want to be like dinosaurs that became extinct and died there because they were too large. Even though size matters. I don't know what nonsense I'm saying. It must be YouTube. Yes, virus. you do. You, this is not <laughs> talk shit. Talk shit. Okay. Come it back. is not. Talk, talk shit. Talk shit was never on YouTube. Okay. 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 So anyway, yes, this is why we are here, and we are here hopefully to learn from the younger generation, who probably has a much more current and expanded um, reality box when it comes to making money in the in mm. this current age. Mm. Yeah, yeah gone are the like gone are the days. Gone are the days where you need to work hard. Uh, yeah, study hard, work hard, get good grades, get a good piece of paper. 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 Oh, you need a, a okay, camera. Get a good job. <laughs> get a good job. Work hard. Work harder. <laughs> work harder. Get promotions. Work even harder. Then get die. married. Get married. Two and a half <laughs> kids. Work harder. It's, it's no longer about that. And then, and, and then all these people who are working harder and harder and harder are overtaken by the younger people who didn't go to school, who played computer games, who watched YouTube, and who watched, who did all sorts of other things and earning a lot more than those hard dinosaurs. Mm. But then again, it's very interesting um, because a lot of the times when, when, when this, this new flood of influencers came in, right? Everybody was thinking, oh yeah, you know, influencers, they're just very easy. Lah. Take picture, post picture, take video, post video. And then people will, you know, grow their channel organically. But actually, content creation is a shit ton of work. Mm, it, <laughs> it is. It is a shit ton of work. It is so I mean, for our own channel, we didn't even do any much marketing, right? We really like grow. <laughs> Especially for the behind the scenes, like Douglas and our dear Rachel, who's doing the vlogs today. <laughs> yeah, so so it, it, it is, but it is a different form of work. Okay, and, and even like that, uh, in that way, the nature of work is evolving. And, and mm. we cannot persist, we cannot persist in that model of work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard anymore because one day that work hard, even if you want to work hard, that work is not going to exist. Because a lot mm. of the work hardness Okay, it's going to be can it, it, it's likely to be replaced by technology. So you can work hard. You can continue to want to work hard, but there's nothing, there's no work for you to work hard in. 
That's true. Okay. So if we are if we don't learn the ways of what's happening in the world today, that is going to path the future of income generation. Um then the for, for people like me, the next 50 years, if I don't do that, the next 50 years could be very miserable. And then it's really going to be ouch. <laughs> My no money. <laughs> Ouch, no more money. No more money, Liao. Work harder, also no more money, Liao. Uh, uh, since you're on YouTube, did you... Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Douglas, are we done with the work hard part? Yes, yes, yes. This is totally, please. again, not related. Please, please. The, the long story became too long, okay? <laughs> Let's no, go no, back. No, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not just one story. There was like a part two, three, four, so that was very good. <laughs> but for YouTube, right? Did you know that on YouTube? Uh, you you get like a physical silver badge if you meet, I think, a ten thousand views. Wow. Is it a what? Is it a what? Is it a what that YouTube gives to channels that have hit ten thousand? Okay, let's views? let's it's like go. A let's, like, yeah, it's like let's a go, of, man. You know, got a uh, <laughs> silver, then got black, then got titanium, that kind, right? So it starts wow. off silver. And then it goes on to I think bronze maybe then gold. Mm. But then again, so if you're but then watching, again, if you're watching, whoever's yeah, watching, but... please please click subscribe, oh, <laughs> please oh, yeah, click yeah, so like, the, please think... click subscribe, like, <laughs> and please and share. <laughs> but anyway, the, the the real reason we actually moved to YouTube wasn't because of this medal thing and all those stuff. Like, it's, no, no, it's, it's, it's something interesting, ma. Would you know? It's a physical medal, you know. At first, I thought it was just a bag. physical. Really? So basically, so basically, they send it to you, and of course, then if you can request for an e version, of course, then they are going to paste it on the channel, right? Then it gives you. It's like uh, Instagram uh, channels with the blue tick. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, so it's like a form of actually. Uh, ironically, in this in current virtual environment, the physical things become more valuable. Precious, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. It's like letters become yeah. better than emails, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to do a <laughs> Facebook post or Instagram post, don't. You print out your picture, do a postcard, and then you send it to your <laughs> You mail it to your friends. That would be very precious. And it will probably oh, story what, I about, yeah. to add, what I wanted to add is, is that um, seriously, we moved to YouTube because we, we found that uh, Facebook, to a certain extent, is no longer relevant. Mm. Uh, it's still relevant for the older people and to go there and look for, I don't know what you call it. Um, news. Drama. Interesting news. news. <laughs> Interesting uh, news. You see news about things that's going on, like, you know, uh, the like clouds. <laughs> The bow kind of thing last time is the tabloid tabloid <laughs> information. But seriously, in in, in previously in, in, in our generations, uh, most of the things, most of the future was kind of driven by um, the older generations dealing with technology. But nowadays, um, the future is really driven by young people. Uh, and, and and now the eat generation, you know, the eat generation is Gen Z. Uh, even millennial is, you know, I oh. have to give way to them, to the, 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 the Gen Z. And Gen Z is able to spot trends, uh, the, the next coming trends better than most of us. Um, so they are actually embracing technology and making use of technology in many, many ways that creates a lot more for the future. And we get, we, we, we now, now no longer is about the younger generation learning from the older generation. It is also about the older generation learning from the younger generations to move together with them. Okay, it's except that except that a lot of the older generation don't realize that. Mm. Yeah. So 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 that's why we are moving uh, to YouTube as well. Well, if we want, we could have moved to you, you TikTok, but then the TikTok video version is going to be smaller, shorter. It's it's not going to be like this. Our long thing it has to yeah. be higher. Actually, what yeah. people do is they do YouTube live and then they and then they cut it. Yeah, cut and then put it on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, put it on TikTok. And on YouTube, they have something called shorts, right? So that that's like a YouTube version of TikTok, three minutes and below. Yeah. So so if for those for those people, my peers, and all those things, if if you haven't uh, realized it, 
young people are on TikTok, young people are moving things. And, and if you don't know music, even the first thing that actually changed is music. Okay? Music are no longer made by radio. It is made by you, TikTok. A lot of the viral musics come, come from TikTok, not really from radio anymore. It is mm. radio following TikTok nowadays. Mm, or YouTubers who sing, you know, covers and things yeah. like that. And they start making their own songs. So, so things have changed. Things are moving. So a lot of influencers are changing the way uh, uh, the world is go is moving forward. And, it, and last time people think, who are these influencers coming up there? The millennial coming up there, doing all these sorts of things. And that's like, okay, they are the market movers nowadays. Even advertisers is going after them. So mm. things have changed, things have shifted. So if you are still on the old uh, way of doing things, you have to rethink. But even so, now, influencers, right? Yeah, it's a different trend already. Previously, influencers saw about like postcard perfect pictures, right? Now it's all about a real, being raw, being authentic. And, and mm. it's, it's the rising trend for influencers because everybody's sick of the perfect pictures, which obviously it's not true because not everybody can be perfect every day, every minute. So, or rather look perfect every day, every minute. So, that, that's, that's, so even within the trend of influencers, there are like mini trends also. Yeah, so so I think that there are a lot of there are a lot of huge shifts, um, but for the benefit, okay. So, but anyway, for the benefit of the people who may not know what we are talking about as far as Gen X, Y, and Z is concerned, if you are born between nineteen sixty five and nineteen eighty, you are Gen X. If you are born between nineteen eighty one and nineteen ninety seven, you are Gen Y. If you're born between 1998 and 2013, you're Gen Z, okay? And the kids who are born after 2013 are now called the Gen Alphas, the Generation Alphas. And the Generation Alphas, okay, the, the oldest Generation Alpha born 2013 is how old now? Eight years old. Right? Okay, so at, at eight years old, you know a lot of kids at eight years old they were born into um, the age, into a, the uh, an environment that is where that technology is everywhere. Okay, so, so they grew up, they are growing up with that. Okay, so people like us, Gen X's, um, 1970, okay, I was born in 1970, no, no computer, no internet, maybe got a little bit of TV. <laughs> and TV was for the rich. Okay, is internet. TV with a behind? <laughs> with a huge round black and white, you know. Okay, and, 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 and so, so for me growing up, I had very, very limited access to, inform, to information. Okay, the only access being TV, and TV was restricted by parents. Okay, and that's not the case today. Okay, with kids, even with the Gen, the gen Y, Zs, okay, they had access to internet, they had access to information. Okay, so the parents cannot say, so the parents of Gen Zs and Ys cannot say we eat salt. We eat salt more than you eat rice. Anyway, sodium is not good for the diet today. And so, so it's not so, very nice. Yeah, so the power has shifted. Okay, like Chuno said, okay, the power has shifted. Okay, and, and if we are not keeping up, okay, then we're just going to fall behind uh, a lot. Okay, and of course, our, the, the youngest of us, between the four of us, is our dear Denise, okay, who's yeah. in her way, in her way, doing a lot more things in, in things in a, doing a lot of things in a different way okay then then I would then I would have had when I was her age okay so I own I own I, I'm, I'm turning dinosaur and I want to change I want to turn that around and stop being but I'm only considered a dinosaur you know you, you <laughs> see those people who are just 10 years younger than me the way they talk the way they do things are like so so scary Scary. How how different scary. is it? I mean, I don't talk to them. I don't. Yeah, you but need I, to talk to them. Eh? <laughs> I don't. Scary how? I may be the I may be the youngest among the four of you, but considered to them, I'm the like the <laughs> dinosaur ish already. They move. Okay, the, I think I realize. Okay, the good thing and the bad thing. The bad thing, obviously, everyone knows is the the consistency on social media thing. So right now, it's very interesting to us because for us, right, if you are urgent, what we do, you call the person straight away. If it's something urgent. 
right? But there's okay. something called the, I don't know what phobia it is, but apparently some people that are, that grew up in this generation, they are so used to texting that if your phone rings with a phone call, they get paralyzed with fear and they cannot pick up the call. And then they must have the person finish calling and then immediately they're like, the heck's like, what's going on? Really? <laughs> So What's really the problem? Serious. Why can't you just pick up the phone? I I think it's just the way they 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 they're used to texting all the time, and then, and then ah. the younger generation, so like ten years younger than us, right? You would expect that. Uh, okay, then forget it. Then you don't call them. You text them. Don't use WhatsApp. WhatsApp is for work. <laughs> I have heard this from like people who are twenty six, twenty three. They are like WhatsApp is for work, so the notifications are off. So what uh, they doing? What do they use? They use they use Telegram and they say Telegram and Instagram are for friends. So the notification for Telegram and Instagram is always on. I'm like, what the? <laughs> so, huh? so right now, I have friends who are really young. They are like 23, 26. And we have chat groups on Instagram. And it's constantly like, da, 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 da. they're always talking inside. But my Instagram notifications are not on. Uh. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know where I go? It's like, like what's, I mean, I'll watch the messages. Like, da, 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 so, so that's very interesting. And another thing I found that... um. That is very interesting is their speed of moving. I mean, of course, it also applies to their attention span, very short. <laughs> but it also means that they are moving at a lot faster speed than we are used to. Mm. Mm. So that's why I realized yeah. they are really, really quick. They're like, okay, this is it. Let's do it. When? Like now. Let's do it now. And then... Uh, yeah, because they have so much access. They have so much access in ways that we are not used to access <clears throat> access to people access to resources access to information okay and and and, and we're not we, we we that is part of that's part of how they are wired today okay mm. and 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 i i certainly cannot say the same for myself okay i, I get overwhelmed with all that information okay sign of age I feel like my mom, I live it like my mom. You know, last time our parents always tell us, ah, when you grow older, you will know. You see, now we know disaster. <laughs> Not old yet, and then we already know. Already oh, know, already know. Yeah, and that's you know, bad. No one. Recently, how Yes. You say no what? When we grow older, we know what? No, our parents also always say what? Well, uh, this, 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 that. We say, ah, then we don't listen. Then they say, oh, never mind. You now don't know, right? When you're older, you will know. That's what they always say. Do your parents say like, it? You know, like, that means, that means, yeah, they always yeah. say that. Experience old people stuff. Then you're like, I'm like, ah, now can I be la? Then I said, now we know. Okay, like, anyway, cannot... as I was talking about the speed, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't think my parents say that. Oh, okay, your 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 family, your family are, your fam family are aliens. <laughs> we pretty yeah. acknowledge <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they, they're, they're so totally from a different planet, you know. They okay, think differently. They think differently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, and I realized that the younger ones, right? Uh, you know how we are always talking about COVID has taken our jobs and all that, right? The younger ones are the ones that have seen opportunities during COVID times, and it's really interesting because I spoke to this young girl. She's really a young girl. She's like 23, 26 years old. She is. She's a she's a craft beer supplier, you know, and she brings in. She's a what she, supplier? Craft beer supplier. Okay. So she brings in. So she they started this thing during COVID. They started a business in January, and it's actually going really quite well now. And they bring in beers from, uh, UK mainly, and so she during says. COVID. Uh, yes, yes. So so she says they have they have only ever known COVID. And you'll be surprised, you know, she's young, she's, she's like, tell me, me la, but she hates it if people call her that. <laughs> but she, she, I mean, like, you say, you say I'm doing things, Douglas, you say that I'm doing things that you wouldn't do. Then yeah, I'm doing things I, I, I was definitely not doing at that age. Like, then if she was outside doing, just studying, la, playing pool, la, I don't know what, la, not, not <laughs> going for classes, probably, things like that. La. So it was, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, you look down, then look, 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 there's always, it's a rabbit hole. Yeah, so... Okay, so y'all should come up with me sometime. <laughs> that will bring you me all this 23, 26 <laughs> people. You'll be stunned by them. And the way they text, like, sometimes I, I'm like, what is this word supposed to mean? I feel so ancient. Because I use punctuation, right? They don't... 
Yeah, but you know, you know the, the, the thing. So so a few years ago, quite quite a few years ago, and this many many years ago, uh, I went to I went out in in the I went out to a night place. Oh, uh, night place. Uh, night place. Uh, some drinking hole, uh, Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Night place sounds like so like gay lah. <laughs> <laughs> no no la. I went I went out <laughs> drinking. So I went out drinking in a drinking place, okay, <laughs> not a CD place. After after not going out for for many many years, and and this was also many many years ago when I was in my early forties, and I think I think the experience was walking into the the pub, looking around and and realizing that oh my god, oh my god, everybody has gotten so young. <laughs> and, it's not. It's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think I think the real the reality hits okay when these when these younger people turn around and say uncle. <laughs> Let me so, auntie, I think I slap them. And, and 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 to 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 add injury, uh, when I when injury. I go to the supermarket. Uh, you know, so I buy, I buy, I, I go to NTUC and I buy fish from the counter, right? And then there's the, the, the people who are cleaning, cleaning fish. And, and in my mind, in my mind, they are a certain age group, okay, cleaning fish and, and preparing. And then there was one day I, I gave them my fish, they prepared it. And then after they cleaned it, one of the uh, attendants pointed to the bag of fish and told her colleague, Oh, this bag for that uncle. <laughs> what? You know what you need to say now? Nowadays, younger, younger people will say, Oh, rude, you rude person. This is apparently like a comeback. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, anyway, um, it's regardless, regardless, I think there's, there's something that we just need to shift. Mm. Okay, and, and, and it's, I think it's a very, very real thing. And a lot, of, a, a lot of people, I realize also, a lot of people my age, um, go into oh, I'm I'm a technophobe. I I I I I'm a tech, tech, I, I don't know technology. I'm afraid of technology, and all, uh, that's for the younger people and all that. And to me, it's like it's, it's we're going we're just gonna you're just gonna be, be become irrelevant if we don't. Well, it's just excuses. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to say it as it is. It's just, it's just excuses. It's just old people excuses. And and if you want to admit that you're old, yeah, then use go ahead and use that excuse. Uh, but seriously, uh, even before the current young people, the the, the Gen Y, uh, previously I met actually millennials, uh, like five years back when I met a few people who were you know, 28. I I know we talk uh, talk to a lot of our. Uh, peers who are in the Gen X, and a lot of them says that, no, they cannot do a side gig, don't know how to do a side hustle, and all things. You know, when I met all those people in their late 20s, that was five years ago, now they're probably in their early 30s. Many of them actually have a side gig. I know somebody who's working, but at the same time, he's, he's a trainer, uh, he organized sessions, uh, he was what, what do you call that? The the one that used all the ropes and tires. CrossFit. He was a CrossFit <laughs> trainer. <laughs> 50, <laughs> great, 50 shades. <laughs> That's what he's you call it. 50 shades. A, what's 50 shades? Cross when you use when you use ropes, it's 50 shades. Anything is very idea. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so anyway, he was a CrossFit trainer. Okay, and then I've got another person that is also have his job, but he also at the same time, he and his friends set up a group. They are food reviewers. And they actually and he was the one, this food reviewer was the one that first introduced me to Slack. I never knew Slack at the time. And he was like, What are you what kind of app are you using? He was he was chatting with his other food reviewers on, on what they are doing, and then he, he was just Basically, we went out to eat, and then he, he said he wanted to try out this restaurant uh, because he heard so much about it, and, and then just invited him to go. So okay, he brought me over there, and we tried out some of the food. Then he started texting on Slack to his uh, core, I don't know, colleagues or whatever, uh, partners who they are on this food review 
thing and, and then he started telling them about this place and they, he started talking about it. Um, so I was asking, what is this app? And then he told me Slack. Then he said, what is it? So I asked him, what is Slack? And then he said, this is a collaboration app. Don't you know about it? He said, no, I'm learning from you. And that's where I learned about Slack. And that's how I found out how good Slack is. And, and that's how eventually I started using Slack. But I actually learned a lot of this stuff from the young people. And these young people that I actually met, they are starting side hustles. And then we, I talked to some of my peers, you know, the Gen X, and they talk to them, uh, maybe you need to start thinking about side hustles if you want to you know, have some alternatives, source of income, or you want to have some backup or stuff. I said, oh, cannot this, uh, cannot that, I uh, got these restrictions. Uh, okay. So I don't know, young people actually think a little bit more about using technology to support them in a lot more ways than I think some of us. And, and I think having an alternative source of income is actually rather important. Uh, if not, if not no, as a security blanket, but also as another form of uh, money that you have on the side so they can invest. It's not having the money so they can spend more, but you, you build up some other cash so that you can invest. And the investment is the way forward. Because if you don't invest, you're going to just keep working and working and you're going to, I don't know. So you need to have some investment to plan for the future. Because you are, most of us are going to live around to 90 to 100. Okay, unless you don't get yourself vaccinated and don't wear a mask and go out and then so so lah, okay, if you want that. Yeah, cross, cross the road, the road like Rachel. Yeah, so, so the, the younger people have a tremendous amount of leverage because they know how to utilize technology. It's also because okay, of and, how and, they grew up, right? Yeah, because of how they grew up, because they're so exposed, um, they're able to create leverage and, that's, and, and that is key. Leverage is key um, to not working hard. Because once upon a time, okay, you have a side gig is go to Pasar Malam and sell toys, right? You know, <laughs> go to go to flea market and sell toys. It's very okay. physical last time, the side gig. Yeah, and very physical. Okay, and, and today, okay, side gig is sell toys to the world, <laughs> which is a totally different thing. Okay, so technology gives tremendous amount of leverage and they know how to use that. So recently I was attending, I was attending this course on some technical stuff, um, some technology products that I wanted to, to, to utilize. And, and so, so part of the part of the program had, uh, we had access to a, a, a private Facebook group. And so, so I was going through the discussions that were happening. And so you can't tell, you can't tell right, who, who, who's who on Facebook because it's just a picture. And so there was this conversation going on and, and the, the, everybody was exchanging notes about how to do something better and all that. And then this guy chimed in and, 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 and then at the end, at, at the end of that, he, he said that, wow, I wanted, I want to do all this. I'm doing all this and all that. And oh, uh, by the way, I'm 15 years old. <laughs> wow. And so, I'm, so he's 15, I'm 51 and he is basically 35 years ahead of me. because he's learning at 15, what I'm learning at 51. So in the next, so he, at 15, he's going to be equipped with that set of skills, okay, which I'm just learning right now. Okay, so he's really, the next 35 years, he's going to be leveraging, 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 leveraging. Okay, and I have to keep, and I have to catch up. And that's scary. Deep in thought, something yeah, to think about. Everybody's stunned by the everybody's stunned by the fifteen years old. <laughs> you know, yeah. Gen Z. Wait until the alphas come out, man. Hmm. Wait until the alphas come out. Yeah. I tell you, if we if if we are not if we are not caught up, the alphas are eight years old. By the time, I, I, okay, I I don't I don't, I I think it's highly likely that many of them will go a different route from our paper chase. Okay, when by the time they are in their teens, they probably will have the capacity, unless unless the, their parents get me. Okay, say no. That's not the way to do things. Okay, otherwise, 
What is that sound? Yeah, there's a sound. There's a rolling mic going on. Is it still on? Okay. Oh, okay. Dennis. Sorry, yeah, I forgot sure. the mic. So, the mic. Sorry, sorry. So anyway, Douglas, you were saying? Yeah, so so the the we are by by the time it's it, okay anyway in a nutshell it's, it's, it's a scary thought okay that these people are so, going to be so far ahead okay and and in terms of income generation we are going to you know you know whatever we see and we feel bad about the elderly picking up cardboard boxes right okay and then and then we think wow well, at their age why are they picking cardboard boxes um we are going to be those picking up cardboard boxes okay and i don't i don't mean that i don't mean that literally mm. okay i mean that whatever we are doing right now okay if we don't evolve okay it's going to be the equivalent of picking cardboard boxes when they look at us how come wow still do, still doing things that way when yeah. they're racing ahead yeah so it's, it's not about whether we actually want to or not i mean you can choose not to but there's always a consequence to pay mm. Mm. Big cardboard boxes, huh? You'll be left behind, no? I mean, I don't know, but it's not that difficult. I find it really fun, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, when no, I go out. Pick up cardboard boxes? No. No, pick up I mean, boxes. like, when I go out and mix <laughs> around with the younger people, we pick up cardboard boxes. Eh, no, la. Yeah, I, I thought you meant the there. cardboard boxes also. I was like. <laughs> but I, I, I don't disagree with you. I mean, the, talking to the younger people, listening to them, and, 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 and understanding of where their world is actually is quite refreshing okay I, I met people of various ages at one point i was like going out there and starting to meet people of certain age and it's very interesting you know the people of different age group and i find the people in their 20s most refreshing to talk to because they have zest for life mm. okay i i, I, I give you my experience yeah, it's like they have this zest for life and they're willing. They think, you know, the world is out there. I'm just going out there. I'm learning it. I'm, I'm going to do all this kind of stuff. Of course, some, sometimes a few of them, many of them will think they're invincible and all things. And sometimes I look at them and say, okay, you need a few hard knocks. But whatever yeah. it is, I enjoy their, uh, their zest for life. I mean, but then, 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 or, or, then there's these people that is in their 30s. Uh, and then after they get a few hard knocks, uh, you know what? They're, they get disillusioned a bit. So jaded, yeah. jaded. No, no, jaded is the people in the forties. Oh, not jaded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How jaded yeah by the time they get in the forties, they are jaded. Then then we start talking to them and say, no, like cannot, like no, this and that, a lot of things like that. One, then go out excuse one. Right? They are very jaded one. Right? But the disillusion oh, is the hard. Oh. Yeah, thirties will get disillusioned because after the hard knocks, they starts getting disillusioned. But by the time they get for the forties, they'll be jaded. And then yeah, by the time that's they our go, generation, uh, that's yeah. our generation. So, it may no, not be the same. Yeah, but the thing is that if you don't want to get into all these things, the best is to to keep up. I mean, it's really refreshing talking to the young people because and, 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 and the interesting thing is that the world is shaped more and more so shaped by young people. And and a lot of the newest trend that is coming up, what is important and what is going to be the thing that people will need. Are shaped by all these Gen Z people. Okay, how the you no know, last time there was a, a, a point when 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 people you no know, the old people were like wear tie, wear shirt, wear pants, and go to work, and young people were, were like all into this at leisure, you know, at leisure kind of uh, apparel, right? It's so ugly. Don't wear at leisure if you don't have an at leisure kind of figure. Okay, but that's yeah, because no but it was, it was, and. <laughs> Don't, but the thing is that Lulu Lemon was built up by these people and it's a big company now. And then all the other um, clothing companies like Nike, Adidas, and those are, are following. Even if you go to Uniqlo, they all have all this. I mean, they will have a section on it. It's moving that way. Zara is going that way. Everybody is moving that way. Okay, maybe Nobody we can wants to wear a shirt and tie to the office anymore. No, no more already. No more already. We all not like, just in uh, Singapore. I mean, no. Yeah, I know. Uh, like Steve Jobs, all that. <laughs> yeah, we're all following, following all the cyber, cyber giants. Okay, but maybe we can talk a little bit about how do we go about then, 
not catching up, but just refreshing ourselves. Because, because when I use the word keep up or catch up, sometimes I, I mean, it's just a term. But personally, I feel very stressed. Like, oh my goodness, I have to like keep up and catch up. But like what Chun Ho says, when you talk to the, the 20s, the early 20s, uh, or late 20s, whichever, it's very interesting because you, even if I feel like sometimes a bit tired, Jay, then you talk to them, you feel like, oh, yes, you know, like that's all, that's all, 10 years old, those thousand years old, and then they go and suck the life force from all the young people, right? <laughs> and then they suddenly become younger, wow, that's how I feel, sometimes I feel a little bit like that, wow, when I talk to the young people. Yeah, the days you sound like you're damn old. Actually, to them, I'm them all, you know. Okay, this is not very child friendly, but I got like some little boy come up to me and try to ask for my number. I say, I don't like move, like, I want to slap his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hello, excuse me. <laughs> but then, if you want to accept it, this is how they view you. Because also, when we were like early 20s, I mean, anybody and I'm above 35. So I'm technically more than a decade older than them. Than them. And then they purposely come and they're very cheeky, they'll call me ma'am because, <laughs> because they know how old I am. The, the people that are big, <laughs> young. It's so annoying. So... <laughs> okay, so anyway. So, so, Denise, what is it about them that you find invigorating that, you know, when you talk to them? It's just zest for life, though, like what Chun Ho says. Ah. Like, if. It, 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 okay, if you talk to people who are like in their 40s, their 30s, all you're going to hear is no, 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 no. No, because this. No, because that. No, because this. Mm. When you talk to the 20s, they're like, oh yeah, then how can we make this happen? Instead of saying no, they're like, how can we make this happen? And then because they are young, right, they are very used to all the new technology that we that I am not used to. Mm. Uh, they will be like, oh, you know, you can use this. Eh? If you want to do this, why don't you do this? Because, you know, I have a YouTube channel and then this this young girl, this copy supplier I'm talking about, right, she actually gave me feedback, like, why don't you do this? Why don't you add this to your YouTube? It's very easy one. Then I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Then it's it's refreshing. Uh. They will find ways. Um, and like what Douglas said, they have access to things not that we don't have, but they grew up in that world. So it's very reachable and accessible to them. So whenever you even you post problems to them, they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, but you know there's this app that can do this. Oh, you know there's this person that can do this, and things like so. You find that like, oh yeah, it's doable. It's not always like a no, 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 no. You know. Yeah. Kind of yeah. So the tables are totally turned. We grew up in a time when, when the adults knew more than us and we totally depended on them to tell us what we needed to know. And we were held ransom by what we didn't know that we didn't know. And right now, you know, we just start again because now we have, growing up, it was the older people and now growing old, it's the younger people okay, who know things that we don't know, that we don't know. And... and then we have to find out what we what they know what they know that we don't know and they have access to all that so we are trapped we are sandwiched between two generations okay, so, how, so, how do, so, so how do we refresh ourselves or how do we because whether we like it or not the world is moving right yeah so i think stay 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 in tune i think i think um as we get older, what I realize for a lot of us, and that's me included, we have a lot of judgment about things. We have a lot of judgment about things that comes from our growing up, from our reality boxes. And that judgment, um, we make it right or wrong, good or bad, and say, well, young people are like that. Okay, we have become our parents. I have become my parents. And I think one of, one of the things I've got to acknowledge is, is, is that um, I, I need to, that, that my judgments from my experience may not be right and I need to take away that judgment and really see things that that, that future is um, coming from that generation and unless I am open enough then so it's the first so, so the, to me the first thing is remove all judgment mm, mm. You cannot go in with the mindset like, oh, I'm older than you, so you better listen Yeah, no more, no more stop. No more stop. Yeah, really, really. It's, it's very interesting. No more okay, so how, how, how do we move forward? Like, for me, it's very easy. I just go to a bar. You go to the bar and then... Please, you go to the bar and pick up younger men, is it? No, 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 no. 
I wait for I no, I say I go to the bar. You wait for men to I pick you up. Wait for people to come and call me MILF and then I slap them because I know that. They're <laughs> <under the ring. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No la. <laughs> but, does, but does, 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 does your that. husband know that? That <laughs> you go to bus and wait for people to pick you up. <laughs> no, that's not true. It was a joke. Okay. <laughs> but I do go to bus and it's very interesting because there are a few places I frequent. And the the people that are really young, like I said, the craft beer supplier is 23, 26. And uh, there are other people who are like 20s, early 20s, and some of the part-timers, um, also early 20s. Sometimes they are in university, 23, 24. Uh, then you then you talk to them and have a conversation with them and make friends with them and then you this is this is how I do it of course then yeah, yeah. just just become friends and you really cannot go with the of course they will make fun of your age of my age they make fun of my age which is always the case mm-hmm. actually yeah mm-hmm. but, but I also make fun yes. of their age yeah, I think there's a okay. certain there's a certain look right there's a certain look that they give it's like who's what's this dinosaur doing in here no 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 no, no. okay I'm not, I'm not referring I, to you I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just talking about my experience okay when I went to the and I and that was a long time ago and then and then, and I could I could read I could actually see it in their eyes you know so what's this what's this older his person uncle, doing his uncle, <laughs> his uncle trespassing in our heat place yeah no! <laughs> okay and and uh it's maybe a bit trashy of course we news and all that but uh maybe look at youtube channels and things they a lot of the youtube channels that are trending right uh mm. they talk about i'm not saying they absorb the information that they are giving but they talk about the trends lifestyle mm. uh, music uh, what's going on in the world they they talk so about social media wise what about social media wise same when do the younger the, people hang out? Uh, Instagram, TikTok, these two. Instagram, TikTok. Okay, so 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 start in so start Instagramming and TikToking instead of tic tac toeing. <laughs> or Facebooking. I tell you, the younger generation don't even have Facebook anymore. Yeah, so it's I think if we if we if we stay on if we stay on Facebook, then we're just going to be stay in an environment of older with older people. Yeah. yeah, so, so, that's, so, that, so uh, that's how that's how I move with the times. How do you okay. move the times, Chun Ho? <laughs> um, I read, I spend almost four to five hours in the morning and I read a lot of things about um, anything, anything what is trending in the world, what is going in the world, what the young people are thinking, what the young people are looking at, uh, what is trending in TikTok, what is trending on Instagram, things like that and, and what and a lot of times there will be what is wrong with facebook a lot of times okay so it's one of the reason why we move out of facebook there's a lot of things wrong with facebook even a lot of big tech companies are saying something is wrong with facebook okay mm. actually sales I, I i this morning salesforce the ceo said this thing said, said this no facebook created a mess for all of us even though it didn't create a mess for themselves they make a lot of money out of it but they created a mess for all of us which is misinformation oh, wow really okay, okay. Yeah. yeah i didn't know that part so, yeah i didn't and, know that and, okay. so it's quite funny we are in youtube talking about facebook okay we were in facebook just last uh episode so we cannot yeah talk trash about but X. then again seriously you think about it on facebook it's like i, I hardly go in two years ago i stopped going to facebook to read anything because everything that pops up for me to view i, I just like I, I just mm. i just didn't feel connected to it anymore uh it is too much of a celaton mm. people it? trying to sell a ton okay. celaton and, and a lot of people telling me look at me i'm so and so look at me i'm doing this look at me look at me look at me going to this I'm hotel saying- and stay facebook yeah oh really but that's what people are doing so, on so, instagram now yeah, people are doing that on Instagram now. Yeah. Yeah, like so, look at so me, I don't go into Instagram so, either. Look at me, my legs so long. Look at me, my hair so chill. That kind of things. Yeah, so I, I, I don't go for pictures. That's, that's yeah, so, so I don't go into Instagram either. I stopped going okay, to my but, Instagram also. Uh, but you can do Twitter actually. Twitter has a bit more depends on okay. Instagram and Twitter is the same is as with all other social media feeds. Depends on who you follow, so you need to yeah. search yeah. for quality content there is quality content out there 
but uh, a lot of the times what pop up is all the young girls uh, yeah, usually or young boys <laughs> that are like I'm like why are you doing your content has like zero value at all yeah Just... but the, the other thing is that what is interesting what what, what is interesting is that uh, if I if I want to uh, find out in information, find out new things, what's going on and other stuff. Sometimes I go and, I mean, learn something new. I will go to YouTube because you search. Okay, mm -hmm. then again, it's, it, YouTube is part of Google. Uh, and then when you, and most of us search on, I, I search on Google, uh, Google search. I mean, it's one of the better search engine. Um, and then when I search, there will always be a section that they will say YouTube. And then sometimes, depending on what, I'll either click on the, the material to read or I'll click on Facebook. Uh, sorry, not Facebook. Apologies. YouTube. Click on YouTube to tell me you know, how to do this, how to do that. I mean, YouTube has a lot of things you can learn because a lot of people are, are posting a lot of... Um, how, how to say, videos. How to videos. Things that mm -hmm. they have learned or mistakes they have made and then they, they compound and say, this is... What I've learned through it, and I, I wanted to do this, and now I, I figure a way to do it, and, and this is what I'm going to share with the rest of the world. So there's a lot of this, and then you don't really have to go and figure out on your own. And, and, and there's a lot of things. If you want to cook a certain food, you can do this. If you want to bake a certain cake, and you need a certain recipe, it's on YouTube. Uh, you can really get those information readily, and everybody is willing to share on YouTube. Of course, there's a benefit for them because the more people view their content, um, they also get benefits as well. Um, YouTube has a YouTube creator portion, which helps them uh, monetize their uh, content. So it's, it's a content crea creator uh, things that YouTube has built. I mean, a lot of the social media has, has, has done that as well. I think Instagram has that too. I think Instagram actually follows Snap. Snapchat has that first. The creator, what do you call it? The, 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 the creator account, in Instagram. profile. Yeah. In, in this part of the world, it's actually Instagram, is 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 TikTok, but actually in in the US, it's actually Snapchat. Mm. It's Snapchat, Twitter. Snapchat, Twitter, as well as TikTok. TikTok is actually all over the world. And Instagram, yeah. Instagram. So, the US also uses. I think. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think um. YouTube as a value platform, um has far greater value than Facebook does. Mm. Because, because the when, when people post stuff, um, there is value that they are creating that or knowledge or whatever is that shared. Facebook is <laughs> Facebook is dot 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 <laughs> any thought that comes to mind and then it goes out or any gossip or any can I can I throw something in here? I know we just yeah. moved to YouTube, but actually, so <laughs> but actually, what people are doing besides TikTok and Instagram is podcast. Podcast yes. is like the hottest thing right now. Mm. Mm. So, so YouTube is right now like that. Then podcast is coming up. Mm. So I foresee so if YouTube loses its age, then it will be like, <laughs> mm. then we have to shift house again. Yeah, so so I, I I'm I'm not saying that we will stop here at YouTube, okay? I think YouTube mm -hmm. really is a is a first move, and and moving forward as well. Uh, for me, I am looking at a lot more technologies for our business, for our businesses, um, and and moving away from what seems to be tried and tested methods because the past is certainly not determining the, determining the future and it, it cannot be a yardstick either mm. okay so so it is and 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 in the coming years um because i'm in keeping in touch with a lot of tech, new technologies that's being developed uh that they're, they're going to be further shifts okay they're going to be a lot more shifts than our big move Okay, but this is our first step, la. <laughs> baby steps. Our big move is our baby step. Not really baby, yeah. It's a me medium medium step. Yeah. But I think in, in terms of the future of in terms of future income generation, um in future in future episodes, we certainly are going to take a look and talk about different modes, different models, different approaches 
and shifts in mindsets, beliefs, reality boxes as well. Okay, so that's what I think our audience can look forward to as we mm. explore this new world. Maybe we and can get one of the younger ones to come. And, yeah, we should. And be a we guest. Should. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we could do that too. Mm. Can, can I just write on what's Douglas? Can, can you hear me? Uh? Can, can yes, I just write on what Douglas mentioned yeah, earlier sure. and, and give... <laughs> Go ahead, right? I am the one writing, not you. Hi, uh, <laughs> um, about the thing that what works in the past may not work in the future and other things. This is a tip for all of you, okay? From an investment point of view. Okay, any investment, if you're thinking about going into what has performed well in the past, that doesn't mean that, that that investment or that company is going to perform well in the future. It all depends on whether this investment or this company, it is leveraging on what is going into the future. I mean, things are always changing and things are moving. If the past is the past, the past is based on a cert certain set of circumstances and certain environment. And if the future is moving in a different direction, what has worked well for the company may not necessarily work well in the future. So a lot of people will look at the past history of a company and they say, oh, let's buy this company because going forward, it makes sense. Uh, it, the, the company to do well. It's not true. It always depends on where the world is going, where the future is heading. And then you need to evaluate whether this company is going in the same direction as the future. If it is not, it may have done well in the past. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to do well in the in the new future. So you have to look at things according to where the world is going towards, because otherwise it will become okay. You can become the next Nokia, or become the next what that Kodak, or all those other what what was that company uh, that one research in motion which made. You know, you all remember Research in Motion, the one that made uh, Blackberry. Blackberry. No, Blackberry. So mm -hmm. they just they did well in the past, but that's it. Yeah, and and giants will fall. Yeah, giants blockbuster, fall. blockbuster fell. Mm. Is no longer a blockbuster. Yeah. So, so so it's I think that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Um looking into looking into the future the past may not help in mm. many many ways mm. Mm. i agree is that your last words are suddenly who are you talking who you talking about Douglas? <laughs> Douglas, uh -huh. okay, oh, like, oh, my last words okay, okay my last words looking, looking into the like future a... are we in last words now looking into yeah, the future yeah. the, the past depending on the past really will not help looking to future depending on the past will not help you i uh, oh sorry last words before we what do you mumble about huh i said douglas is doing last words right but i forgot to ask like are we all like is everybody done <laughs> <laughs> are we done like because yeah. like, i felt like oh my question was, hey, is it last words? Because they said it in a very nicely wrapped up sentence. Oh, okay, those will be my last words. Huh? It may not be the last words. If you guys have more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I package it up first. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Is it that already? Yeah. Go. <laughs> okay, next. Whoever. What else? It doesn't have to be last words. Okay, really? <laughs> I just, I know, I just jumped I the gun. It's Denise's done. fault. Think... It's Denise's fault. <laughs> hey, from you, it's $200. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> <Denise's> <laughs> Two <fault. zeros laughs> at the back. $200. I think last words is okay. La. I think more or less. Yeah, I think, well, we are almost an hour into uh, whatever you do, mm. we call this. Mm. So, um, yeah, I think for me, I, I just said that we just keep need to keep moving. I mean, we live in this world, whatever, how old we are, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, the world is changing and we live in this world. We need to be, we need to stay relevant. And what I mean by relevant is whatever, whoever is shaping the world to be, we, we are going to keep up or stay relevant. I mean, <clears throat> if the world is going in one direction and we need to learn something, we need to learn something. Um, it doesn't mean that, oh, 
I'm so old already, and this new thing I can't handle, and I think and that's a bloody big excuse and all those stuff. And I've heard enough from a lot of people in a lot of Gen X. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, well, the Gen X is supposed to be very how do you call it versatile. Okay, we grew up in we transition we transition from the information to PCs and then to mobile devices and to all these things. We are supposed to be the versatile generation. So stop 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 giving excuses so i don't know how you got to cut my last one <laughs> she will say stop stop then capital s the T -O -P, oh, so then capital yeah. s t o p oh. i just capture your first sentence and your last sentence oh <laughs> Okay, my last one is uh, okay. This this part okay. My last one is this part major on your type. So my last one is more about the process of staying relevant rather than just staying relevant itself. Okay, so my last words are find a way to stay relevant that works for you. What I found interesting is that even among all of us here, we all have different ways to stay relevant. Whether it's by going to a bar and getting picked up. Okay, no, please don't type that. <laughs> Whether by mixing around <laughs> with the younger generation or uh, by reading new or anything. Find something that works for you to stay relevant. That's it. Okay, for me, um, actually, I'm not sure. Cause I don't really want to mix with the younger crowd, so yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I actually agree with how what the niece said by staying relevant that works for me. So how it works for me is to stay relevant to you guys, and then you guys connect with the younger crowd, and then you know the information flow. I thought you were saying to stay away from the younger generation. My way of staying relevant is to stay away. <laughs> no, find a way that works for me. Yeah, by going through you guys, which is good. She's leveraging on us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. She's been doing that. We can, we can feed her. We can feed her. We can feed, feed her misinformation. Yeah, precisely. So then there's a filter, three filters actually. <laughs> Which what, happened to, what happened to the world coming together, you know, to help one another? We are, we are coming together. It, it doesn't say together. anything about feeding information. <laughs> <laughs> but we are different animals, you know. We speak different languages, like the banya. Oops. Okay, la, okay. La. Feed you information. <laughs> la. Okay. But there will be lag, you know. If you wait for information from us, there's lag. Mm, there's a lag. That's okay. Well, yeah. Lag versus yeah. connecting with young people. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think I don't think it's like versus connecting young people. It's like versus connecting with anybody that is a, a yeah. stranger. So I'm very clear what I don't want. So yeah. Okay. I should just copy paste my last words and put a name there. <laughs> hey, I also put yours. Oh yeah, I thought it's exactly the same thing. Oh my I god, I retyped, you know, I didn't copy and paste. I know, I heard you typing it. I was like, why are you typing it? I didn't know it? this it's is exactly the same thing. thing. Oh my goodness, that's oh. so funny. Your mind Oops. was the same way at phrasing things, what? So it would be the same. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I guess okay. this is it. We will see you guys two weeks later on YouTube. That's please, please click subscribe, please. <laughs> like, like share, and subscribe. share. Can you hear me? Uh? Like, share, can, can. Subscribe. and share. But it's softer. The nearer you go to the mic, the softer it is. Like, share, and subscribe. Ah, yeah. Ah, That's okay. Like, share, and subscribe. So I learned to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I learned to do this. Point downwards, <laughs> wherever it is. <laughs> <It's here. laughs> okay, alrighty. Okay, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. This is how we're going to end the show every show. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh my god, that's so eerie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the music. Normally, okay. Like, share, and subscribe.